Hmm. Meeting room two. Hmm. Where are we meeting? Sounds like a dating app, such as Tinder, Bumble, Coffee Meets Bagel, East Meets East, Grinder, Match dot com. It's so sad that I know so many dating apps. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. All right, meeting rooms two. Okay, um, let's start the timer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so given an array of meeting time intervals. All right, consist of start and end times. All right, as one as e two. So start and end. All right. Find the minimum number of conference conference rooms required. So input. Zero to thirty. Okay, we can take a look at these schedules. No, no. So output is two. Why? Because let's take a look at it. Zero to thirty, and then we have a five to ten. Now, thirty is larger than the start time of the second schedule. Okay, so、uh, which means we can't really go to so zero to thirty, and then five to ten. Well, actually, five to ten. So, so. What the fuck is this doing? Okay, so um, so so this is zero to thirty, and then this is uh five to ten, right? Okay, so this interval is it's included, you know, it's included inside of this inside of this uh room. Okay, so we can't really go to these two. We can't really go to these two rooms, these two meetings at the same time. So we have to. We have to、um, attend this. We have to put these two meetings into two different rooms, right? We can't really、um, put them together in the same room because they 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 are going on synchronously or at the same time. Okay, now, okay, so, so.、Um, I know what you're thinking.、Um, so, so zero to thirty, and then five to ten, we have to get two different rooms, and then five to twenty, so that we have zero to thirty, and then five to ten, and then we have、uh, fifteen to twenty. So fifteen to twenty. Well, okay, this is good. So since we have two different rooms for these two different time slots, and We have a new start time, which is which is fifteen,、uh, uh, which is、uh, larger than this time, right? So we have、uh, which is larger than this time, and we can actually put it into the same room, right? So we can put this in the same room because. They their time slots don't overlap each other. Okay, so uh, uh, five to ten, and after ten we can、uh, have this meeting at fifteen、uh, to twenty. So、uh, let's take a look at the noise of more. So we have seven to ten, and then we have two to four. So if we start the meeting at two and end it at four, somebody just texted me. Okay, it's not some someone on Tinder or something. Anyways. Um, two to four,、um, and then we can have another meeting、uh, from seven to ten. So we can definitely put these two meetings in the same room because they don't overlap each other. So to simplify these questions, questions. So, so to simplify this question,、uh, it, we we need to to it. This boils down to find the Find intervals that don't overlap each other. Okay, so um, in so find any intervals that have all of overlapping, and then integrate them into the same interval, right? So, no, no, no. So the question should be, let me think, let me think. I'm not thinking right now. Okay, so. The question is, 
what they want us to do is, okay, let me make sure we have enough time to code. Okay, so the question becomes, we need to group the intervals that don't have overlapping over each other into the same group, right? Which means the same room. So room is the group here. So we need to group the meetings that don't have overlapping overlapping over each other. Um, so first thing you need to do is to sort these intervals or sort these meetings by start time. And then once one so we need when one when we when we are comparing we need one thing in order. And then we need to compare because we have to control one variable so that we can compare the other the other variable, right? So if we sort the start time like this, okay, this is already sorted, so 0, 5, and 15. And then we have 30 and then 10, right? So like I said, we need to group the we need to group the meetings that don't have overlapping into 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 each into each other, into one group, right? So let's see, 0 to 30, 5 to 10. So obviously 30 is larger. Than five, so they are overlapping with each other. So they're not in the same group. So we'll put these two in two different groups. Now, let's take a look at the. Uh, so we have two different groups. One group is thirty, and the other group is ten, right? Because we want to care about. We only care about the end time. If at the end time of the previous group is larger than the previous, uh, the end time of the previous group is. The end time of the previous interval is larger than the start time of the current interval, right? So now we have different two different groups: zero to thirty, five to ten. Now we have a fifteen to twenty. Let's get someone texted him again. Not like, well, it's not someone from Tinder again. I'm disappointed. <laughs> and I'm coding here. <laughs> Someone's dating. And I'm coding here. <laughs> Shit. Get back to work. All right. Um, okay, so we have two groups, and then here comes the 15 to 20. Now we see, we, let's, let's see the 10 to 30. Okay, uh, okay there's, uh, this is overlapping. No, we don't want this. And then we check the other group, 5 to 10. Perfect. 5 to 10, the end time is less than 15 to 20. So, we put these two together. Okay? We put these two together into one group. So we have two groups. Which 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 corresponds to the output now. Two. Now what well, a second example is a pretty simple example, so it's not a good illustration. So we will sort these intervals and then we will see when is the shortest time. We'll always try to get the shortest, or we'll try to always try to get the, the earliest end time of, among all the groups and then compare, compare this shortest end time to the next interval. If it overlaps, which means we don't this is not the group that we want. If it all overlaps, that mean, which means this is not the group we want. We need to create another new group, right? Because this is already the earliest end time. If the earliest end time is already overlapping the start time, then then the the later end time will of course overlap the next start time. That start time with the next interval, right? Okay, I think we're clear on the logic. So it's time for us to start coding and we were bullshitting for about nine minutes. Okay, so now, first of all, we need to sort this interval. We need to sort these intervals by the start time. So we'll have an array that sort intervals. And then we'll put a new comparator 
and I'm on this new comparator. We have <coughs> shoot. I forgot how to implement. Um, we have um. <coughs> so I think interval in, within the parentheses is the size one. So we don't we don't really need a size. Well, I mean, uh, we we can put intervals. Dot length. Actually, um, let's not do this because I'm not sure what what the parameter is. We can do optimization later, okay? Because we are kind of kind of running out of time. So, so we have a public and then int uh, compare. Now, we have uh, interval a and interval b. Okay, so return. First thing first, we want to compare. The first thing we want to compare is the start time. So if start is equal to b dot start, right? Then, well, if it's equal, then we want to compare the end time. So end minus b dot end. Okay. Or if it they're if they're not equal. Just wrap these uh, with parentheses. It's a good habit to have. And then, if they're, if they're not equal, then we'll just simply return the comparison of the start times. Okay. Now, we've done with the comparison, with the sorting. Now, next thing is we need. What am I missing here? Oh, where is this? Okay, so the the next thing is we have sorted this interval, and then um, we need to put the end time into kind of a, a priority queue because we always want to get the early. Uh, Sorry, excuse me. I need to drink some water. I had too much um, cumin lamb noodles this <clears throat> this morning. <clears throat> All right. Um, uh, uh, a simple tip: if you have an interview the next morning, or um, uh, if you have a coming interview, an uh, in-person interview, don't have lamb noodles or cumin noodles or any noodles that has uh, very uh, heavy and flavorful meat. Okay, uh, you'll regret it. Okay. Anyways, um, where am I? So next we need a priority queue. So to uh, always provide uh, priority queue to provide us the earliest uh, end time. Now so we have a priority queue. In this case, we only care about the end, end time, right? So we don't actually need to put the interval inside. So we'll have an integer. So we'll say pre queue and is equal to priority queue. Integer. Okay, so we need to add the first end time into the uh, queue, which is. I need to turn my phone. I need to turn off my phone so that it's not gonna distract me. Okay, so first thing first, we need to put the first end time into this queue. So it will be. P Q. So PQ is pop, right? It's push or offer. I think it's offer, right? What's what's oh, actually? Let me look it up. Priority Q. Java. Java eight. <laughs> offer. Okay. Push. okay. I got a little bit of spit on the screen. Another tip: uh, Don't do beatboxing. Don't beatbox uh, when you code. <clears throat> um, all right. So we have um, 
Offer the end time of the first interval uh, or the first meeting. And now we have to um, traverse the whole array of uh, intervals and then uh, see which one uh, should be grouped in in with with the with the other interval. So, like we said, we'll start from the second interval. And I will be less than intervals dot land dot I plus plus and uh, so if so first of all we'll pop the latest interval right so well actually not pop we'll peak right so if the intervals I dot start Right, is less than so. Uh, so let's see if they overlap. If they right on, wait, what happens if we have uh, overlapping? Find, 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 find the minimum number. So I'm wondering if thirty is if 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 the end time is thirty and the start time is thirty, then how do we how do we do we see them as? I I guess in this case also for now. Since no one is prompting me, so I, I guess for now I'll assume if the end time of the previous the end time of the previous interval is the same as the start time of the next interval, then I I, I think well, I'll put them in the same room because yes the same room okay so if start time is less than or equal to the PQ dot peak, right? Okay, so if the start time is less than, well, actually, it's a uh, larger, larger or equal. Okay, larger or equal, which means we can put them in the same room, right? Um, then what we need to do is. We need to extend the end time of this of this uh, period, right? We're not extend the end time because um, that means that uh, during this time, this room is occupied from this time to this time. Okay. So if start is larger than peak, then we will what we need to do we will we'll pop it and then we'll replace it with this. With the late latest uh, end time, and then put it back. So, well, PQ pop, right? Is it? It's pop, right? Pull. Okay, it's it's a Q. Remember, it's a Q. So we have pull, and then we will actually we'll kind of like uh, replace it with um, offer. So pull it, and then we will offer intervals. Dot end time, okay, all right. So else, what do we do? So else, which means that this is not uh, this is they they, they they have overlap, right? They have overlap, which means we need another room. So now since we need another room, then we'll just simply put po offer. The end time of the current interval, right? We don't update anything. We just uh, we just give a new end time. So PQ offer intervals i dot n. Okay. So looks like we have a duplicate code here. Um, so PQ offer, so which means no matter what we do, we still have to offer the latest end time. Then we will get rid of this. And uh, get rid of this. Get rid of this. And, uh, and then this. Okay. So we'll offer an end. 
and then after this we'll return the size of the priority queue pq dot size okay so how much time we have left 10 minutes okay so well first of all we sort this intervals uh, we sort these intervals by the start time and uh, okay so and then we offer we created a priority queue to keep track of the earliest the earliest end time among all the intervals right and then we will start iterating from the second array the second interval and then <coughs> I don't feel well. Okay, and then uh, we start from the second interval. Um, uh, we, we, we try to see if the previous, uh, and then we try to see if the earliest end time, if the earliest end time is, if the earliest end time among all the intervals is less than or equal, less than or equal, right? Um, oh, actually, yeah, it's uh, less than or equal now in this case, I'm saying less than, but in this case, what this says is, it's the same thing. So if the, the, the earliest end time among all the intervals is less than or equal to the current, the, the start time of the current interval, then it means we can put it in the same room, right? So if we can put it in the same room, then we extend this start time, or extend the end time, sorry, sorry about that. So we will, which means, which is what this, is doing here right now if it's not then we'll simply just push a new end time to the priority queue and the end the size of the priority queue is how many rooms we need okay so I guess it's the logic is pretty straightforward um, we can go through some test cases so like I said 30 I was very big, a little bit confused about whether we should count 30 as uh, if, if 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 the start time and uh, the if the start time and the end time over uh, are the same, then we should we count in the same room and let us take it out. So forty and this should be in the same room, right? According to my logic. So uh, and fifteen to twenty should be in another room. So this should be two as well. And uh, let's have another test cases. Uh, and then uh, another test case. We'll have zero to thirty, and then we have. Um, well, you know what? I'm kind of lazy you now, so I'm gonna copy this and and paste this. So let's see. Have a huge interval, and then we have a uh, zero to uh, ten, and then we have a zero to uh, twenty. Okay. So according to our logic, this should be three. All right. And uh, we have another thing is let's say thirty, thirty to forty, and then we have a 40 to 40 to 80 okay so this should be one room according to our logic all right let's see what the fuck is not abstract and does not lie 22 sort new compare new comparator oh i think i'm missing this am i I think I'm missing this, right? Illegal start of expression, line 12, intervals, new comparator. Shoot, it's, I just took a break for two days and I forgot how to, what's the syntax for comparator? What the hell? Um, oh, wait, 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 it's a, uh, it's a uh, reverse, okay. So I think this is good, comparator, and I need to put the generic type, okay into this comparator okay and then okay that makes more sense yeah because you need to tell the comparator what kind of type it is 
Um, all right. Jesus, keep practicing every day, bitch. Two, two, three, one. Okay, so looks about right. Um, I guess we can uh, start uh, submitting the solution. Accept it, Jesus. Okay. Wrong time. At oh yeah, we forgot a very basic case. Uh, the simple empty, empty. Um, shoot, we have five minutes. So if it's empty, then we need to let's see. So if it's empty, then we just return nothing, right? We should return nothing. Um, so if intervals length, and if it's one, we just return one, right? So if it's one, then we just return one. That's so, all. Um, okay. So if it only has one interval, then we'll just return one according to our logic. Okay. That's, so that's fine. The only problem is if it's zero. Then, well, return zero. Okay, so let me see. Will this work? Zero, okay. All right. Accept it, Jitsu! Okay. Accept it! Okay, perfect. All right. So, um, I guess this is also pretty straightforward. There's no um, tricky logic like the um, previous challenge that I did, um, the uh, integer to English words challenge. Um, that this one is pretty straightforward. You just need to sort the. I mean, if you're new to this, then the logic could be complicated to you, but uh, um, for um, if you see a scheduling or um, meeting room problem, I think most common, the most common approach is to sort it by start time um, because you need to keep one variable in order so that you can compare the other variable and then you can start from there depending on what question you get. In this situation, you first you need to stop the timer and then you need to compare the earliest, earliest end time among all the intervals you have so far and then you when you have a new interval you compare the start time to the earliest end time if it's all about overlapped that means you need a new room right okay now uh, tell me what kind of challenge you want to see dynamic programming uh, tree graph whatever now let me know and then um, well, do another interesting challenge. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching and happy coding. See you next time. Bye-bye.